Welcome to our workout today. Today I had a great time. I ventured out into the real world. I do work outside the home, but I'm usually hiding. So I have not seen a doctor's office, a radiologist or anything, or even just a real restaurant now. Um, I am enjoying the new norm. I actually am very excited. Plus my doctor gave me some antibiotics and said, you'll feel better by tomorrow. So I am here to celebrate celebrate our new norm that I don't have to feel afraid. That's what happened. I think I got too afraid to go out and just experience it and see what the new norm is like. And it is exciting. It's new, it's different, but it was nice to see people smiling, even though we were all behind masks. Uh, come sit in with me and we're gonna celebrate a little bit of exercise. I hope you're doing well. I hope if you're doing this in the morning, you're gonna have a good day. And if you're doing it in the afternoon, you're gonna have a great night's sleep and a good tomorrow. So let's set up nice and tall, belly into spine. Feet are underneath knees. Knees and hips are aligned together. Let's inhale, raise our arms. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. I don't want to give a lot of cues today. The main cue is uh, breathe, sit tall, have fun. Let's just celebrate life. And exhale. Let's do one arm and down, other arm and down. Although as I say this, I'm thinking we could keep our shoulders down, pin toward our back and away from our uh, uh, our ears. We could also sit up nice and tall, use our stomach muscles, belly into spine. We can lift and use our pelvic floor muscles. So we're gonna call it an elevator. I feel like my hair is a little <laughs> shaggy dog. They have those dogs called Pulis, P-U-L-L-I. I think that's what my hair is doing right now. Let's go forward. Keep your chin tucked in. You know, it's amazing. A little bit of medicine, a few inhalers. The wrong bra though. I had I bought new, new undergarments because my ribs were hurting so badly. And uh, this one's one of those fails. Better to find out in the, the safety, safety of my house than to be at work tomorrow on an eight hour shift. Let's go forward, let's march in place. Sit up nice and tall, belly into spine. We can also just lift your heels up. You can smile. This is our celebration day. Once I get my breath back, <laughs> we could do a little bit more playing again. I know requesting has been going to the dance balls again, proms again. Well, I'll be able to play with you soon again. Let's stop with our legs and we're gonna start doing a little bit of punching in four, three, two, one, punch four. I think my watch is already trying to record me as swimming. If it nags me again, I'm gonna accept it. So as I'm punching, I'm keeping my elbow bent at the end. I'm doing rotation on purpose on my trunk. I am gripping the ground for dear life with my toes. I don't know if that's good or not, but these are very slippery pants and they're slipping mighty fine on my brother's chair that I stole. So you might see a little perplex. If I go down, do not go down. That's not part of the exercise. Let's keep going for a while. Keep your chin back as you go and your shoulders back and down. Yep, record pool swim. Should I do it? Maybe. What a dumb, dumb watch. I don't think it should be called a smart watch. Let's change it in four, three, two, and one. Let's go, let's do some swimming, huh? So sit up nice and tall, 
Chin is back, shoulders are down. Watch that you don't hit your elbow on the back of your chair. Try to keep your knees straight ahead. So we're really working our respiratory muscles. I guess it's been a long time since I've been talking about the respiratory muscles and my failure. Thank goodness my friend slash uh, manager slash boss told me I better get my behind into a doctor, huh? I didn't realize how time flies. It's funny, we have nothing going on for ourselves really right now, but I can't keep track of dates, weeks, months. Okay, let's change it in four, three, two, one. Bring your legs as far apart as you're able. Keep your knees outward. Kind of think behind you. So we're really stretching here, strengthening our behind muscles. Try to use your behind muscles to pull your legs out. And let's hinge at the hips and lean down. Reach forward, backs of hands together. And we're gonna swim back, come forward, backs of hands together. That doesn't make sense, huh? Let's go palms of hands together. As you're diving in, chin just tucked back, saving your neck, protecting it, stretching it, teaching it. Now you can go faster, you can go slower. It's your workout. I'm just here to celebrate with you. How come my watch isn't talking about swimming now? This is more of a motion than the punching. We're gonna change it in four, three, two, and one. Come on up, bring an arm up, pull the opposite leg out to the side, and we're going elbow to knee. Set up as tall as you can. If you need to drag your leg on the ground, that's fine. I think I'm gonna do it if I don't get splinters. I like this way better than it's not digging my hip bone into my hip. We're not gonna stay here long though. Sit up as tall as you can. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Woo! Get the opposite arm now up, opposite leg out to the side and elbow toward knee. Sit up as tall as you can. Try not to round your spine and sit on your tailbone. Maybe you want to pause and get a little uh, pillow to sit on, a harder book to sit on. I just peeked at my side mirror to make sure I'm not rounded. I have that perfect camouflage outfit on now. No, part of the whole thing with the chest x-ray is I had to check in over the phone and then go sit in my car. I was number four patient on the wait list, but it took seven minutes for them to clean between every patient, plus they had to do the x-rays. So I was out in 101 degree temperature in my car. I came home and I took a big old shower. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Let's just sit and tap it out again. Tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna get my arms going to get a little bit of cardio at the same as we regroup to figure out what we're gonna do next. Tap your toes. Let's get some starfishing going. That's when you form a giant X with your body. We're gonna start that in four. Three, two, I'll explain first. One, bring your legs down. We're gonna open up like this and back in. So you could do step, step, arms, step, step, no. <laughs> step, step, arms, and then back in. Step, step, arms, or you could do it all at one time. Uh, I might do step, step, arms because otherwise I'm doing step, step, fall off the chair. Ready? One, two, three, step, step, arms, back in. Oh, there we go. Maybe a splinter has gotten my behind. So belly in the spine is you lean back a little, really tighten up your stomach muscles so you do not uh, arch your back. We want that back not snapping in and out of an arch or a bend. 
Let's stop in four, three, two, one. Hands together. We're gonna take them out to one side. Shoulders down away from ears. And let's swing to the other side. Actually, let's pretend that we're doing a forearm back hand. So we're gonna aim our hands straight to the screen that you're watching. Twist as far as you feel comfortable. Belly into spine, elevator muscles open. Oh, I'm gonna need to take another shower. My kids and I are gonna watch uh, a 90th celebration of one of the composers on, on a small couch when I'm done here. I think I'm gonna sneak, sneak, sneak them out so then I get all the popcorn perhaps, huh? Let's pick up a little speed again by us put stopping in the middle in four, three, two, one. Bring our hands in the middle, sitting up tall, elevator into spine. Let's go side to side. You can sit up tall. The belly is supposedly doing then the rotate trunk rotators, the movement. You hear my elbows smacking my chair? Not fun. Don't be me in this case. Now, would I like to record a pool thing? So I'm sitting here and it's asking me to record. So you can put your hands up here. You could do leaning back toward the chair. I think what I'd like to do is lean back just a little and actually lean forward as I go. Hinging at the waist, coming back. Then I get a little behind muscle action having to pull me back up. If you're not into twisting, you could just do front and back plane. If your doctor's told you no twisting right, you can come up here and back down. Let's stay at this look for a bit. So really keep your belly into your spine. When I say a bit, I don't mean forever. I want to work on other things soon. Okay, ready to change? Let's change it in four, three, two, and one. Come on back up, bring your legs to one side. What I want to do is we're going to step fast with one leg and open our arm and back in. Ready, sitting up nice and tall, belly into spine. Let's do very quick, sharp motion in four, three, two, one, and back in. So both arms are pointing straight ahead. No, they're not pointing straight ahead. They're pointing at a di diagonal but you're using some force, bam, and stop. We're thinking fire out of our fingertips. Nice, strong, our legs are landing in power move. You can rotate as far as you want. I'm on a wooden chair. I feel like my behind is creating enough friction to make a fire because it's getting warm. So let's change it in four, three, two, one. Come on back down. Scoot yourself over. Now let's think about it. So we're going to go a big mark out that leg, that arms up high, and then back down. Oh, this one's a very slippery side. I feel like I know which side my brother swung himself in and out of. Of course, I've had the chair probably more than he has ever had the chair. Actually, it was a hand-me-down to my boy. I think maybe that's why I stole it. I don't know. Anyhow, if you know my brother, please don't tell him I have his chair. He'll charge me rent for it after all these years. How you doing? So I wasn't keeping track. This side isn't lighting my behind on fire like the other side. So I'm probably getting close to being the same. Four, three, two, and one. Let's set up nice and tall again. And let's just jump rope for a minute. 
You can go swing high or low. I'm swinging backwards on purpose, belly and the spine, elevator is lifted. I'm trying to get up and over my chest, opening my arms, obviously punching the counter is just a high thing I like to do. It's not fun. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Bring your hands to your shoulders. And let's do it backwards. So I'm coming back with my elbow. So it's maybe a figure eight. One elbow is going back while the other one's going forward. You can change it and go the other direction. Being that I'm so incredibly round shouldered, I try to avoid that. We are going to change it soon though. We're going to follow up in a few seconds with the breathing. Um, my enthusiasm for starting exercise again was clearly in denial <laughs> no, I, <laughs> that I had the medicine in me three hours. But it shows that maybe I rested my body enough that I could celebrate for a while, which I'll take that as a success. Let's go again. Hands are down. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Bring your legs out and back in. You can go in step, 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 or do it all at one time. I always think I go out this way first, but I guess they're it's the same thing, just the timing's different. The same movements, right? The same muscles being used both directions. I'm going to stop and try the other. It's not funny, it's just that different little bit of rhythm just makes it feel so different. See if you can do it. Stop for a second and then go your non-favorite way first. See if it's the same thing or if I'm just going a little crazy. Write to me, tell me if I'm going crazy. We're gonna change in a minute to go back to our starting moves. And four. Three, record full swim, huh? Two, one. I'm wondering if I trained it. So arm and foot go out, back in, arm and foot go. I wonder if I trained it when I was swallowing all the pool water. <laughs> way, way, way before we were in a lockdown. I don't remember how long I've had my watch, but that's my suspicion. Anytime I look like I'm uh, barely hanging in there. It probably thinks I'm swimming because that's how I swim in real life. So we're going sideways at this point and then we'll change to forward and backwards at a diagonal. Arm forward, leg kind of backwards. This is better than getting splinters of the behind or falling off the chair type feeling. Let's change it in four. Three, two, and one. Let's go forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. So I'm trying to sit up tall. I'm trying to get a kind of an arch, a control arch, belly into spine so it's not a hurting my back one. Shoulders are back and down. No, it's a little bit more than just throwing my arm out my leg. In my head at least. And that's all that matters, huh? It's both our workouts. You do what's you, I'll do what's me. Together we will meet in the middle and we will say we got a workout in. Let's change it in. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Sit up nice and tall. Let's keep our knees forward, belly and the spine, elevator. Let's try to stretch it out. And back down. We want to slowly lower our heart rate. Mine was climbing. I don't know if yours was or not. Back down. Back down. In a few seconds, we're going to get some chest mobility going, and then we'll end it with a stretch. So 
So I'm thinking reach up and then over, reach up and over. Last four, three, two, and one. Sitting up tall, let's pop our chest open out. So we're thinking this part of our chest bone. Are you seriously still thinking I'm swimming? Oh my goodness. And we're I'm thinking at a diagonal up to the ceiling and then just to relax down. Relax being my normal forward shoulder back up and down. So my back when I'm relaxing is not trying to round. It's just trying to be a little bit of a comfy. Oh, I do not like this bra. It feels, it feels like I could put another person inside it, but it is probably not a good thing no matter what. Uh, that's the problem sometimes with ordering online and not being able to go in and try clothes on. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. How about now? Side, side. So I'm trying to keep equal weight on my behind. My hips are staying level. And I'm trying to go side to side. Not so hard that I'm overstretching my ribs. All right, that's a hint for my doctor today. Maybe I was a little overzealous. No, he has his big, huge eyes. Wondering why, you know, why would I now start complaining and going to see him if it's been a few months. So I'm thanking my friend Holly. Actually, there's a few of you that kind of were urging me. But once you put a paycheck on it on this line, Holly had said, you can't come to work, meaning you can't get a paycheck as a PT if you're feeling ill. Thank goodness money made me go out into the real world. Let's go around and circle now. Let's go forward, side, relax, side. You can round it out, seeing if you can hit all parts of your circle. Let's see if we could do it 10 times one way, then 10 the other one. So 10, 9, 8, use your stomach muscle, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, shoulders away from ears, chin is back, 2, and last one. Now let's go forward, other side, relax, other side, forward. So let's get the feel for this and then we'll do 10 circles. You ready? See if you can hit all the circle. It's more of a half circle with a slight flat, no, a circle with a slight flat edge because I don't really want to go all the way around and back. I could do that movement without practicing it, so I'm trying to avoid it. There's my watch again. Record pool swim. I think I have the first dumb watch around. Actually, I'm dumb since I spent a couple hundred dollars on a watch that's telling me I'm swimming. Hmm. Let's change it in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, I'm sure I did too many this way. If you need to even out, even out though. Don't let it drive you nuts. So I have my leg cross, cross your leg whichever way you can. We're gonna sit up tall. If you're not allowed to cross your leg, just sit up tall, right? Do, do what's for you. I wanna bring my shoulder, my opposite shoulder, up and over in the thought, my opposite knee that's up high. Belly into spine, I'm thinking elongation, a nice top, top stretch of my torso and my neck. Let me to look up and over and just relax. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. And now hinging forward at the hip trying to get my opposite shoulder and my knee connected a little to feel a little bit different stretch. And let's hold for five, four, three, 
two, one, leg is down, swapping legs for sit up tall, lift your elevator muscles, shoulders down into your back, chin is back. Let's rotate up and over that leg, trying to get your opposite shoulder over. And we're gonna hold for a little. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Coming back up, hinge at your hips, we're trying to bring your knee towards your opposite shoulder. So a little stretch. I do like my music today. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come on back down. Sit back in your chair. Flex one foot towards your head. Reach underneath that, that leg. Clench your hands to help support your knee. Lift your knee up as high as you can. I'm sorry, lift your foot up as high as you can. Straightening your knee as much as you can. We want to, we don't want any rounding in our spine. If anything, we want to hinge at our hip. We want to feel kind of an arch in our back. Not a rounding. Don't sit on your tailbone. If you have to keep your foot down on the ground, that's fine. If you want to add more, flex your foot harder towards your head. And let's hold for four, three, two, one. Back down, relax. Other side, sit up tall, elevator up. Flex your foot towards your head. Reach underneath your thigh. Pull your shoulders away from your ear. And then lift your foot off the ground, stretching your knee, straightening it as much as you can. Hinge at the hip as much as you can. And let's hold there. <sighs> I am feeling better. It's amazing what medicine does, huh? The proper medicine, too. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Foot flat on the ground. Lift your arms as you breathe in. And then lower as you exhale. And lift. Exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, bring your palms to your heart center. Sitting up tall, press your palms together hard, kind of adding a little bit of strength in your chest muscles, backs of your thumbs towards your chest bone, chest bone towards your thumbs. Elevator into uh, muscles are lifted, belly into spine, chin is back, shoulders are away from your ears. Take a moment to feel proud of yourself for having the endurance, the energy to get to the computer or your TV, whatever you're doing this on, to get to hanging out, to find companionship. I really appreciate all of you for um, encouraging me to keep going and doing the right things. Uh, please continue to request and recommend stuff for me as I learn more about how I can help you. From my open heart to yours, namaste.